Gruesome Playground Injuries is a very interesting story and in then it follows the two characters, Doug and Kayleen, throughout 30 years of their life from ages 8 to 38. And they come together through a series of injuries, some accidental and some self-inflicted, and develop this sort of push-pull relationship throughout, you know, 30 years and never, never really getting the timing right you know, until it's, it's uh, kind of too late. I picked a show, I think in like late September, and, and we got to work pretty much immediately because we were so excited about it. Um, I actually, I was just planning on producing this show. I did not plan on being in the cast, uh, but I brought the project to Dylan saying, hey, I think that you'd be great as Doug, and he asked me to read it with him. And once we did that, we kind of realized, we were like, okay, yeah, we're doing this, we're doing this together. and. Because even just from a cold read, we instantly felt a connection to these characters and we felt the connection with each other that we realized that this could be something really, really cool um, from, from day one. So. It's a very unique show in that it's written um, from the ages of 8 to 38, so 30 years, but it's, it's jumbled around. It goes forward 15 years and back 10. So what we decided to do is we decided to rehearse the show chronologically in the five-year increments, so 8 to 13 to 18 to 23 and, and so on and so forth, so we could get a better understanding of the character's arc instead of having to jump around so many times so that when we got to those scenes we had a better understanding of where they were coming from. You follow these two heavily damaged people, damaged in different ways, Doug a bit more literally and Kayleen more emotionally, but you follow these two people over the course of 30 years and you get to see the effect that they have on each other and, and their relationship and their codependency and they always meet under extremely unfortunate circumstances. And over the course of those unfortunate circumstances, Doug sort of really you know, forms this connection to Kayleen and realizes, you know, he really needs Kayleen as, as this sort of anchor in his life. Kayleen is someone who has about a million walls up. She does not let anyone in unless she absolutely wants to, and that's very, very rare. But when she meets Doug, there's just something so different about their connection and their relationship. And it's the most that she's ever felt seen and cared about and loved. And that scares the daylights out of her. She doesn't really know how to deal with that. So she kind of alternates between letting it in and pushing him back away because of the fear of being loved like that. And most of these scenes take place in, in either a nurse's office or a hospital. So that really tells you something about these characters, especially Doug. As a character, I don't think he thinks before he does things. So over the course of the show, it really I think it takes a toll on him until you know one day he realizes, I, I, I can't do this anymore. There's just something so real about these two people, even though the circumstances tend to be heightened, there's some whimsical things that probably don't happen to everyone on a day-to-day -day basis, but anyone who watches this play or reads this play can see themselves in one of these two people and can relate to the relationship on some level, whether it's the codependency, whether it's the never getting the timing right, or whether it's just the amount that they care about each other. You can find something in your own life that connects to to these two people.